Hi, in this video, I'm looking at right angle triangles and in particular how to label them when we're dealing with trigonometry. So if I draw a right angle triangle where I've got one short side and I've got another short side and they're joined with the right angle, they're at right angles to each other, 90 degrees, and I've got my third side coming in down here, my hypotenuse, I want to label this triangle. Now, when we're dealing with trigonometry, we care about the angle that's in one of these two corners. The angle that's in here helps us label the triangle. We're not talking about this angle down here, the 90 degrees. It's always 90 degrees, but we might have an angle marked here, perhaps with just a curve, or it might have a Greek letter, say theta, or it might have both or it might actually have a number in there such as 60 degrees and it might have that with a curve as well and it could be down here in this corner or it could be up here in this corner and it's from wherever this angle is that we label our sides so I'm going to start off with an angle down here in this corner I'm just going to have 60 degrees and I'm going to talk about the first side that we label and it's very similar to Pythagoras because it's the hypotenuse. It is always the same. It is the long sloping side. It is the one that doesn't matter where this angle is. We don't care where this angle is. It's about that long sloping side. So on this one, that's this angle down here, the one opposite the right angle, the one being pointed to by the right angle. It's our hypotenuse. And with trigonometry, some people label it HYP, short for hypotenuse, and some people just label it H. And that's the notation I'm going to use, H for hypotenuse. This is probably the most common. The next side that we tend to label is the opposite side. So the opposite side, which has two Ps to spell opposite, is one of the short sides, and it's the short side opposite the angle, whichever angle it is that's in that triangle we're looking at. In this case, this 60 degrees. So it's not the 90 degree angle, that's not the angle we're talking about, it's the one that's marked in there that's not the 90, de uh, not the 90 degree angle. So it's the one that's opposite that angle across the center of the triangle. So some people label this OPP for opposite, or quite often we just use O for opposite. So it's the one opposite the angle that's marked in there, or the one we care about. And the last side, this side down here that doesn't have a name yet, is named the adjacent side. And it's the short side that is beside. Adjacent means next to or beside. So it's the one beside the angle. I've accidentally written single, so let's go angle. So it's the one right next to it. It's this one right here, the one next door, immediately next door to it. So we label it ADJ sometimes, but sticking to the one letter system, just A for adjacent. So we have a hypotenuse side labeled H, an opposite side labeled O, and an adjacent side labeled A. And depending on where the angle is, depending exactly where these line up. So let's go and draw another triangle. So if I go and draw a very similar looking triangle, and this time I'm gonna label this angle up here. Actually, I'm gonna just give it the Greek letter theta. It's one of the most common letters to be used. And I start off the same. I label my hypotenuse. My hypotenuse is the long slopey side, the one opposite the right angle. So I'm gonna put a H on this side. Then we put in the opposite side. My opposite side is opposite this angle, so it would be across the triangle, opposite that angle. In this case, this is our opposite. And then we have our adjacent, the one right next door to it, and so we have adjacent. And comparing these two triangles, here I had hypotenuse opposite and adjacent in sort of the vertical was the opposite, the horizontal was adjacent, in this triangle, the vertical is the adjacent and the horizontal is the opposite. And it just comes down to where that angle is. And 
you know, let's say if I draw a completely different triangle, I could have this right angle triangle here, and that would require me to have, of course, my right angle up in this corner up here. Whoops, let's draw a better right angle than that. And let's just say, for the sake of argument, I'm going to have this angle down here labelled. So let's call that alpha. It's another Greek letter. could be used. Again, I do the same thing. My hypotenuse would be this side down here. My opposite would be the one directly opposite that angle across the triangle. And my adjacent is the one right next door. So when we are dealing with trigonometry, we need to be careful about how we label our triangles. It's not just about which side is which, it's about where this angle is and is it opposite, is it the opposite side or is it the adjacent side? And the hypotenuse is always the same.